Hey guys, and welcome today to a new series where we're going to be tackling the Core Pure One Further Maths exam paper from June 2019. So if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe because um, we're going to be going through all the new Further Maths papers from last year. So let's jump straight into this question. We've got a question here about complex numbers. We're given a couple of roots. That are roots of the equation f of z is equal to zero. So the first part is asked us to show all the roots of f of z equals zero on a single argon diagram for the first four marks. So quite a nice introduction to this question. So let's write down the roots that we do have. So we've got minus one plus two i. And we also have three minus i. Three minus i. So remember guys, if you've got a root of an equation, the complex conjugate is also a root to that equation. So the complex conjugate for this, minus 1 plus 2i, will just be simply minus 1 minus 2i. And then finally, the complex conjugate here will be just 3 plus i. So we've got our four roots. Now we've just got to plot them on the argon diagram like we've been asked to. So mine is just going to be a sketch. Obviously, make sure yours on your actual exam looks uh, a lot nicer than mine. So this is my real axis. This is my imaginary. So, if I call this A, call this B, call this C, and call this D, just so I can label them on my argon diagram. So, what have we got? So A is minus one plus two i, so it's minus one along the real axis, so we've got to go back one, and then we've got to go up two units on the imaginary axis. So, let's say it's roughly around here. We'll join that. We can say that's A now. So this is A. Let's do B. So minus 1, minus 2i. So the complex conjugate of A. So we've got to go 1 across to the left again. And we're going to go down 2 this time. So about there. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That's B. C now. So this is 3 minus i. So 3 units are long. And we're going to go down 1. So that'd be about there. So that's C, and then finally, we've just got to plot D. So it's going to be 3 along, but this time we're going up 1, so we'll say it's there. Um, that's a not a good line, let's rejoin that. Oh, that's a bit there. So that's D. So then my four points on a single argon diagram. So again, make sure you use a ruler, make it look a lot neater than mine. But you should get something that looks roughly like that. So that's the first four marks. And for part B, we have to find the values of A, B, C and D. So, we've got this quartic equation here, z to the power of 4 plus az cubed plus bz squared plus cz plus d. So, how do we find these values of a to d? Well, we've got this quartic here, so we can split this up into two quadratics, and then we can, you know, we can expand the two quadratics together to give us the quartic. So, how do we get these quadratics? Well, all we've got to do is expand um, these roots here. Well, if you've got a solution of minus 1 plus 2i, two, two as a solution, this will be this will be z minus, minus 1 plus 2i, for example, because this is a solution. So minus 1 plus 2i, like so. And this will be expanded with the complex conjugate of that. So this will be z minus, minus 1 minus 2i. Okay, so we need to expand this now and get a quadratic. So you've just got to be very careful with how you expand this, guys. It can be very easy to trip up here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change these minuses in front of the brackets here inside to a positive um, and then change the corresponding uh, signs in the brackets to match appropriately. So if we do that dead quick, I'm going to have a z on the inside again. Z. So this will be plus now on the outside. Well, because this is minus for minus, this will be a positive 1. This will be minus 2i, like so. Same again with this bracket. This will be z plus minus minus 1, so that will be positive 1 as well. Minus minus 2, so that will be positive 2i. So now we can just expand this, like so. So, z times z, that's going to give me z squared, right? Get z squared. Z times one lot, uh, sorry, one plus two i. Well, what I'm going to get is one lot of z lots of one plus two i. So, to make that a bit clear, I'll write it down. I'm going to get this one plus two i. 
like so. I'm going to get another lot of it here, because this is a positive lot again. So another Z lots of 1 minus 2i this time. And then finally, we're going to expand this last bit here. So I'm going to have... Now notice this is the difference of 2 squares. 1 minus 2i, 1 plus 2i. So when I expand this, I'm going to do 1 times 1. So that's going to give me 1. And then I'm going to square... Uh, sorry, times the last two terms. So minus 2i and positive 2i. So that'll give me minus 4i squared. Okay, so let's simplify this. I'm going to have a z squared at the front. I'm going to have z plus 2iz. And then if I expand this, I'm going to get another z, and then I'm going to get a minus 2iz. So that's 2iz. We'll cancel with that one. So I'm going to get a z here and a z here. So I've got plus 2z, like so. And here, I've got plus 1 minus 4 lots of i squared. But remember, i squared is equal to minus 1. So this is minus 4 lots of minus 1. So this is plus 4. So I've got a quadrate now as such z squared plus 2z plus 5. So that's my first quadratic. Now what we need to do is obtain the second quadratic and expand them together. We'll get this quartic given above. So the next one, if we just do it over here, just so we are clear. So again, we're going to do z minus. So this time we're doing with the 3 minus i. So 3 minus i, like so. And then it'd be um, z minus, again, minus 3 plus i, like so. And there we go. So now we need to expand this again. So you can change it to a plus again. If you find that makes it a bit easier, you can do that. But again, I'm just going to carry on um, with how it's given here. So z times z, I'm going to get z squared. z times this, I'm going to get minus z lots of it. So be careful now, I've got this as a minus. So minus z lots of 3 plus i. I'm going to get, again, another minus lot of it. I've got z times minus 3 minus i. So minus z lots of 3 minus i. And now, if we expand the last two terms, minus 3 times minus 3, so that'll be positive 9. And then minus i times, uh, sorry, positive i, because this is minus or minus, so be very careful that I missed it myself times minus i. So this will be minus i squared. Like so. So now we can simplify this. We're going to have another z squared there. I'm going to have minus 3z, minus 3z. So in total, I'm going to have minus 6z. I'm going to have minus i. I'm going to have positive, uh, sorry, minus z i here. And then I'm going to have positive z i here. So they will cancel. And I'm going to have a plus 9 minus i squared. But minus minus 1 is just positive 1. So that's going to be plus 10. Okay, so we're nearly there. We've got our two quadrics now. All we need to do is put f of z is equal to these two quadrics multiplied. So that will be z squared minus 6z plus 10 plus 10 times z squared plus 2z, plus 5. Expand this, we're going to end up with this quartic here. So let's do that. z squared times z squared, that's z to the 4. Uh, so what I'm going to do to expand this, I'm going to go across, so I'm going to start with my z squared, multiply it by all three terms in this bracket, then do the same with the minus 6z, and then do the same with the 10. So z squared times 2z, so that's going to give me positive 2z cubed, 2z cubed. I'm going to do um, z squared times 5. So I'm going to get 5z squared. Positive 5z squared. Do the same with the minus 6z down. So minus 6z times z squared. So that's minus 6z cubed. Minus 6z times 2z. So that's going to be minus 12z squared. Minus 12z squared. I've got minus 6z times 5, so that's going to be minus 30z. Minus 30z. And then finally, let's do the same with the 10. 10 times z squared, so I'm going to get positive 10 squared. 10 times 2z, so that's going to be 20z. 
And then finally, 10 times 5 is positive 50. So all we actually need to do now is just clean this up. So if we clean this up, I'm going to do it over here. Well, there's only one lot of Z4, so I'm going to get Z4 again. Okay. Now we need to do with the Z cubed terms. So we have a minus 6 Z cubed here. And the only other one we have is this positive 2 here. So 2 minus 6 will give me minus 4. So minus 4 Z cubed. Like so. We're going to do with the deal with these Z squared terms now. So I've got minus 12 Z squared plus 5 Z squared plus 10 Z squared. So I've got 15 Z squared minus 12. So I get positive 3 Z squared plus 3 Z squared. Looking at the Zs now, what do we have here? So I've got um, minus 30z plus 20z, so that's just going to give me minus 10z. And then finally, the constant on its own is just the 50. There's nothing else. We can add or subtract from that, so we've just got positive 50. And there we have it. That's the quartic f of z. So your values of a, b, c, and d. Well, my a is just clearly minus 4. My b is going to be 3. My C is going to be minus 10. And then my D is just going to be the constant on its own, the 50. And there we have it. That's question one fully complete.